Hi guys and welcome to your June 2020. This is going to be the what aren't they telling you for the beautiful sign of Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Hello Taurians. Hi guys. If you are new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you are subscribed to the tribe and what's good fam thems, hello to my members. Consider membership. Guys, how's it going? third week of june this is going to take you from the 14th through the 20th guys now remember remember the dates are for me the messages are for you okay if this is your first time stopping by i read current week energy okay if you have an issue with the way that my dates are popping up then you're welcome to exit at the gift shop and thank you for stopping by the marvelous the marvelous shop <laughs> um i get new people every now and again that's like what is this for it's at the bottom of the video you don't have to wonder okay it is right there and yes the the, the schedule typically is from wednesday of saturday of that same week um so that's that Thank you to all that showed up at the members meeting tonight. Guys, um, it was supposed to take place on Monday, but unfortunately I am not, I wasn't feeling well due to a tooth related headache. Okay. So I apologize for not showing up, but we did go through it tonight. Now going forward. What's going to happen is, is if you can't make it, oh no, <laughs> if you can't make it, it will be recorded, okay? It will be recorded for you, and I will put that in the members community tab. So if you were one of the 50% that did not choose a 7 o'clock slot, um, then I will link that in, in the um, description or the... Um, well, not the description, but the members community tab going forward, okay? All right, let's get started. So, Taurus, you beat everyone out for this week. Thank you so much. Let's go ahead and find out what you're faring with this week. Okay, all right, so we got some true love things going on. Um, we're going to be <clears throat> dealing with the illuminated tarot and the heart matter. All right, and then we're going to be shuffling around this, okay? Universe Spirit Angels and my guides go ahead and lift. Taurus is up in spirit. What is their partner not telling them from the week of the 14th through the 20th? Please, guys, please don't tell me. Uh-oh. Don't, don't get in the comments and ask me what is this for. It's there, okay? Okay, then I dropped it twice. Someone is being stubborn. Okay, then I dropped it the third time. Someone is being stubborn. I'm not going to take this because it took me too many times to try to pick it up. That is the four of pentacles. I'm not going to take it. But someone is possibly focused on money right now so much that they can't even see straight. Trying to hold on to something. Trying to control the narrative of something. Where they're not seeing something that is going to come toward them maybe something that has something to do with property commitment any pinnacle related issue show me spirit show me spirit please show me okay so they are working hard towards something as i stated um that is the three of wands um there something didn't work they're possibly going back to the drawing board something definitely did not work out um the way that they wanted it to work out and now they have the hammer they have the they have some yarn they have a saw and they're trying to build okay they're trying to build we're going in with the golden universal tarot this week um I've been inspired with everything that's been going on, guys, to kind of switch the decks up. Um, so my main energy will definitely be with the Golden Universal Tarot. Go ahead and let me know what they're building in the heart. So they are at work building a, a home, a temple, or something. 
two of wands. So they're stepping out of, they could be perceiving um, something that's going on with you this way, but I'm feeling like this is what they're focused on because it came out that way. So they are definitely tapping into their doing energy, their fire energy. Is that my hair font? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Something or someone is being deceived with the seven of swords. Is someone being, I believe this is my hierophant. He may be my emperor. I'll show it to you in a second. Someone is looking out for themselves or appears that they're looking out for themselves and they really, okay. All right, listen. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This is doing versus thinking. We have the top of the deck being the six of swords. We also have the queen of wands. Transitioning. Moving away from old stagnant energy and transitioning. Trying to fix something. Physically put the effort in this time and fix a situation, okay? You guys have been in some type of rocky situation. You guys have been in something where this person wants to actually put the work in. I don't like the seven of swords. They could perceive that you're acting this way. Yes, that is my emperor, stability and power, wisdom. Um, this could be also my seven of swords. Sorry, yes, and my lover's card. Interesting. Deep spiritual connection is here. Looking out about upon the horizon, there was something that they've been called upon to do that they're doing now. Putting in the work, putting in the effort. Clarify this too. Actually, we're going to go into the heart matter first, Taurus. All right. So there, it's a group effort right now. They're asking for support from others. What is this seven of swords about, though? I don't like that. We're going to go over here and start. All right, so they're bold enough and brave enough right now and tapping into their, inter their, their inner boldness and their inner them and understanding that divine timing is here. So they're planning something for you guys. They're planning something for you. And what I think is, is that Taurus, when I see, I feel like this seven of swords is them not telling you they're operating around you rather than going through you for your opinion about something. And I feel like they're planning something for you. They're planning something for you too. They're doing something to show you something that they did not show you before. Clarify the, 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 they're freeing themselves from all of that energy. This is my emperor. They're charging in right now. And it's time to take back control of their life. They're planning your life. They're planning something. And I feel like they're leading you to believe that none of this is going on because of the surprise. They, they, there's an element of, yep, make the effort. See? There, this seven of swords is being clarified by making the effort. And I feel like the, what's deceptive is, is they're not telling you. They're operating around you to do this and to pull this off. Clarify the lovers here. They're doing this with a, with, with a, 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 with a tremendous amount of strength and passion and courage here. Okay. They really are doing that. I don't like the way they're popping out. Hold on. They've changed the way that they thought. Positive thinking is now here. These did not come through the way that I wanted them to, the way that they popped over. But I just want to let you know that there is a past element here 
with the two cards that did pop out in reverse, which I don't take reversals, but I'm going to just let you know what they are. Release your ex and pay attention to the red flags. If some of you guys are dealing with any type of suspicion of what this person is doing, Taurus, what they're doing behind the scenes is trying to build a life and make effort where effort lacked before and make a home for you guys. Um, and I'm shuffling for the top and the top is soulmate. I can't even make that up. So we're going to go in with a sacred soulmate card. Um, wow. Where they lacked effort before they're coming through. They're planning to free themselves from stagnant energy. Show me spirit. They are... It's not you, so don't reject yourself. Rejection is divine intervention. Where things did not go in reconciliation at the top. Where things did not go as planned before. It's going to do, it's going to go in right now. Where things did not go as planned before. It's going to come to fruition. Where effort was not made before, Taurus, effort is going to be applied. There is some type of building going on, and you don't know what's going on behind the scenes because they don't want you to know. So that's why I'm telling you. Okay? They don't want you to know that what's waiting for, they're, they're, they're freeing themselves from the past things that kept them bogged down. And they're understanding that the, the divine um, situation with you is worth waiting for. And because of that, because of that, they're freeing themselves from all of that stagnant energy. Clarify emperor and free yourself. We got freedom twice. They're showing the endurance. They're gonna go the extra mile, freeing themselves and taking back control of their life like a boss. And then we have that heart chakra being activated. They have some things planned for you, Taurus. Thank you, spirit. They are flipping. And they're showing a little vulnerability right now. Um, I don't feel like they're as comfortable with doing that. That makes sense. Clarify for me the seven of swords. Make the effort we got. They're freeing themselves from those beliefs. Those seven swords could be things that they felt that they had to do in the past to keep a relationship, to stay in control, okay? That's, that's changing. They're making the effort now, okay? They understand that great love is worth taking the steps you're being guided to take. And they're breathing now. They are breathing. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, I told you, is on this side. So that's funny that that came out clarify the lovers this is a deep spiritual connection between you and this person they're staying optimistic because they're recognizing that they hardened you they hardened you okay Taurus their past behavior now they're coming in being bold but their past behavior has hardened you where is my blockages they know that they have hardened you okay and where you stop being optimistic, you're like, that's it. They are coming in being optimistic for the both of you, okay? They're planning something here. And underneath here, there's sort of an education. Um, this is the Knight of Pentacles. And he is typically, or she, is the typically the slowest moving Knight of the deck. And they could have moved very slow in the past, but now they're coming a little bit quicker. Um, only because I do see that courage on the top. Again, their beliefs kept them in a constant state of deception. That deception means that they don't talk. They could have throat um, block, a blockage, the chakra blockage. Um, and it's been hard for them to communicate because their beliefs and what they, what they believe about situations has made it hard for them. Um, they're changing for you, Taurus, and what they're trying to do is be bold and come in like this boss, come in like an emperor, free themselves from those thoughts that bog them down. They don't want you to know that they failed you 
But now they're understanding that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Now they're coming in saying that they failed you and they know what they're here to do now. I know what I am here to do, okay? They're also coming in and saying, I am grieving that this did not work out the way that I want. But I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. And that's exactly what they're coming in doing, okay? Top of the deck is fear. They have been afraid. That's the beliefs. That's the seven of swords. That's what they've been hiding. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in an energy of love. They know that. This has a lot to do with the past. They're coming in loving on you. They're coming in trying to un, un... You've come in and touched that heart chakra and melted all those fears away. But that's, but that's only the beginning, okay? We've only just begun. The romance is not over. Got a lot, a lot of love to give. Come on now, Taurus. Okay, Glenn Lewis, for those that don't know, think that... Glenn Jones, not Glenn Lewis. We've only just begun. They're planning something. Um, I've gotten this in a couple other videos for different um, for for um, different signs, but there is a lot of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and a lot of Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, and it did come out okay. And it's like. One side is all about action and doing, and the other side is all about my beliefs and how I need to stay optimistic and I need to get out of this hardened um, type of mentality and go into my positive thinking because you are coming in again as the soulmate. Okay, what failed will be reconciled. Okay, and that is what I see. Um, they're planning something. I think that this has a lot to do with travel. Um, I'm looking at these. I'm looking at, honestly, and we're going to look at the rest of this in the extension, but they're planning a proposal or something. What they want to do, honestly, they've learned a lot. That's learning. That Knight of Pentacles has been paying attention that knight of pentacles has learned every lesson and it's time for them to graduate now they're freeing themselves you're worth waiting for they're going to make the effort they're staying optimistic this is everything they're going to win this race come come what may they're going to stick around to win this race and they're going to win it with you okay and and let's not forget that we're talking about transitioning we're going to be moving out of rocky waters we're going to be moving out of those old stormy weather and that stormy weather and those patterns we're going to be moving out of that okay and we're going to be moving into more you've melted all of those hardened things um and and that heart chakra is open you've opened their heart and they're planning something epic for you, okay? Like, share, subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. I certainly hope that that resonated with you. Go ahead, drop it like it's hot in those comments, Taurus. Let me know how you are rocking with it. I will link last week's video down in the description. Um, and that's that. I will see you guys in the extension. To everybody else, I will see you next week. Bye, Taurus.